I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, two new USB audio interfaces from Steinberg featuring Rupert Neve transformers. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the URRT2 and the URRT4, two new USB-based audio interfaces from Steinberg that feature transformers from Rupert Neve Designs. Now, Rupert Neve, of course, is a legend in the audio industry. His circuitry is always top-notch, and a lot of the quality in that circuitry comes from the transformers that he designs. With the URRT series of audio interfaces, Steinberg has worked with Rupert Neve Designs to incorporate those transformers into the signal path. The way this works is we have preamp inputs on the front panels, and we can use a selector switch to choose whether the transformer is in the audio path of those preamps or not. The preamps are Yamaha's D pre design, which are based around a Darlington circuitry. This means there are two transistors in the signal path, which gives us a very pure signal with extremely high dynamic response. With the transformer switch engaged, the Rupert Neve Design transformer drops into that signal path, and we get that extra harmonic richness, a little bit of distortion if you drive it hard, and a little bit of compression as well. This enriches the signal and gives us a smoothness that you don't get with just a pure preamp. Having the option of selecting between two different colorations for our signal path, either the pure D pre preamp or the transformer process signal, gives us extra versatility with this and allows us to really tailor it to the sound that we want to capture, whether it's an acoustic instrument, drums, an electric instrument, or vocals. Let's take a quick tour of the two interfaces. We'll begin with the URRT2, which is a 4 in, 2 out USB based audio interface. On the front panel, we have two preamp inputs. Input number one can accept either mic level or instrument level signals, instrument level being guitar or bass. We select what level we're operating at using this front panel switch. Input number two can accept mic level or line level signals. 48 volt phantom power is available on both, and we switch that on the back panel. We have an indicator light on the front panel as well, and we also have peak LED indicators on the front panel. Gain level is set using two front panel knobs, and these two switches are where we bring the transformer in and out. And you can switch that independently for the two inputs. So we can turn input one on and off, or input two. Rounding out the front panel, we have a headphone output with its own volume control. And we also have an output volume control, which controls the main outs on the back panel. Typically, those are the outputs you'd use to feed your monitors. Moving around to the back panel, we have two more inputs. In this case, these are line level inputs on TRS jacks and we have two TRS outputs, and again, those are the main outputs that typically would be connected to your studio monitors. The URRT2 has MIDI in and out ports, so you can also use it as a MIDI interface for your keyboards or for controlling your effects devices. Rounding out the back panel, we have our 48 volt phantom power switch, which we discussed earlier, and we also have a USB 2.0 port. Now this can be connected to Mac computers, Windows computers, or with a camera connection kit to an iOS device. This makes this a very versatile interface, especially for portable recording. Throw it in a bag, you can use it with your iPad, use it with your laptop, then take it back to your studio and use it with your larger studio setup. The last two items on the back panel are a 12 volt power input and a power switch. Moving down to the URRT4, the big difference is that we have more audio connections here. On the front panel, we have four preamp inputs. The first two can accept mic or instrument level signals. The second two accept mic or line level signals. Once again, we have independent gain controls, and we can also turn the transformer on and off independently for each of those channels. 48 volt phantom power is switched in groups of two. 
We have two headphone outputs on the URRT4, each with its own volume control, and then the main output control controls the level that's feeding out of the main outputs that you'd connect to your studio monitors. Moving around to the back panel of the URRT4, we have inputs 5 and 6, which are line level inputs. We have two sets of stereo line outputs in addition to our main outputs. We also have MIDI in and out, our USB 2.0 connection, switching for two banks of 48 volt phantom power, and our power connection and our power switch. Looking at specifications, the URRT series of audio interfaces really measure up well. They have ruler flat frequency response from 20 Hz to 22 kilohertz. They also have great dynamic response and extremely low noise measurements. But what really matters with an audio interface is how it sounds and how it performs when you're using it in a session. To check it out with the URRT series of audio interfaces, Jacob Dupre, Nick DiVirgilio, and myself sat down to create a piece of music. We began by recording the drums. Nick mic'd up his drum kit using four microphones, which we fed into the inputs of the URRT4. We engaged the transformers, and one of those mics was on kick drum, one was on snare drum, and we had two overheads. Next up, Nick laid down a bass track. We recorded this direct into the URRT4 with the transformer engaged. Jacob came in next to lay down his keyboard tracks. There were three separate keyboard passes. We recorded those using the front panel inputs so we could still use that transformer coloration. So we brought those in to the line level inputs, numbers three and four, and fed them straight into Cubase. I finished things up with three tracks of guitars, which featured a mic'd up amplifier coming into input number one with the transformer engaged. There's a clean track, a crunchy rhythm track, and then a saturated lead track. Everything was recorded straight into Cubase. Cubase AI comes with the URRT audio interfaces, so you're ready to go right out of the box. For iPad users, the interfaces come with Cubasis LE, so you can immediately get going using those devices as well. In addition to Cubase and Cubasis, the URRT audio interfaces come with other software as well. DSP Mix Effects is an application that allows you to use these interfaces with latency-free monitoring and latency-free effects while recording with any DAW. A suite of effects are also included. There's an amplifier simulator, a channel strip, as well as a reverb, and again, you can use those in real time while you're recording with no latency. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the new URRT audio interfaces from Steinberg. Those Rupert Neve transformers in these interfaces really give them a beautiful tone. Harmonically rich, very dynamic, and very smooth. They really sound great. When you want a pristine signal, take the transformer out of the signal path, and you still have those beautiful d pre preamps to work with. They're a great addition to any studio, and they make great mobile audio interfaces as well. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Mm -hmm.